Welcome to the Patty Morning Show. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Patty Panthers. You may now be seated. Here's today's encore schedule. I hope you have a great day today. Now let's go to Mr. Luciotti and see what he has for us today. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to school. We are so glad to have you today. And guess what? If you guys are out there doing your absolute best, trying your best, giving it everything that you got, and you know who you are, if nobody has told you today, I am super proud of you. Mr. Luciotti is incredibly proud of you because this is not easy. So just keep it up. Keep persevering. We can do it and we can do it together. That goes for our teachers out there too. This isn't easy, guys. So I appreciate everything that you guys are giving and I'm proud of you. All right. So book review day. I hope. I'm not even sure what day it is at this point with some snow coming and going. Who knows? but I wanna make sure we highlight our book reviewers. But first and foremost, in recognition of um, Black History Month, I wanted to highlight this book. And if you've been here with us, um, I guess two years ago now, we used this book for one of our party time books. And this book, first of all, has one of these right here. This is a representation of a reward. And then in the back, we see that our author and illustrator are both African-American. This is Jacqueline Woodson and E.B. Lewis. And so this award, sorry, this side, this award right here is the Coretta Scott King Award. And this is awarded to African-American authors and illustrators who have demonstrated not only an appreciation of African-American culture, but also human values and that's why we chose this book here a human value is just the way that we should treat people and the way that we should act it's just like all of our patty essentials and so this book really highlights that and so for our author and illustrator thank you thank you for your contributions but more importantly thank you for teaching such a valuable lesson in an awesome book if you guys didn't hear about this during party time or get to read it check it out or ask your teachers maybe they'll read it for you all right, so I have three book reviewers this morning, and first up, I have Angelina. Angelina, take it away. Hi, my name is Angelina, and I'm in Miss Barros' class. The book I chose today is Baby Mouse Burns Rubber. It's such a good book. It's about this mouse named Baby Mouse, and she decides to go in this derby race, right? But it's so funny, and I love it. It's amazing. And if you like this, it's in the library. And there's a whole series. So it's always there in the library if you need it. All right. Nice job, Angelina. The Baby Mouse series. Sounds cool, and it's in our library. That's awesome. And series, which means there's a bunch of books that go with it. And that's fantastic because now we have books for a while to read. So thank you for bringing those to us, Angelina. Next up, we have Hunter. Hunter, go for it. Hi, my name is Hunter, and I am in third grade. And the book is called Wedgie and Gizmo. And the author is Susan Selfors. And I think you should read this book because it is funny. And it's about a dog and a guinea pig. Bye. All right, Hunter. Good job. Dog and a guinea pig. That's got to be funny, right? Go for it. All right, and last up, we have Liddy. Liddy, take it away. So my book for the book review um, is Tales, it's Dirt Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Best Friend Forever. So in this book, there's this girl named Nikki and a girl named Mackenzie. They, in the beginning, they are enemies, and they just really don't like each other that much. Like, they end up, like, being really good friends. And... What this book kind of teaches me is that to always give people second chances, but depending on what the person did to you, but I mean, 
yeah, I just or give people chances, you know. But yeah, it's just like a really good book. I this is the fourteenth book. I'm still looking for the fifteenth one. Um, I really enjoyed this book. I'm still not done with it, but I'm almost finished with it. I'm on, I'm on page one hundred forty-five, and it's just a book that I really enjoy. Nice, Lily. Nice job. Dork Diaries, but with a great lesson involved. The lesson being giving second chances. That is awesome. Hey, boys and girls, you guys don't want to be judged, right, by other people. Well, it's not nice to judge other people. And we shouldn't judge other people by the first impression or the first time that we meet them. So we should give them second and maybe even third chances just so they can show the true person that they are. Because I truly believe that all of us are good people. So, hey, real fast, with our book reviews, I was going through some of them this morning. If you are not giving me a summary of the story, and if you're not persuading me or us to read that story, I'm sending you a message in Flipgrid, and I'm asking you to redo it. So make sure you check out your video if you're waiting for your book review to be on the morning announcements. All right, boys and girls, don't forget, Mr. Luciati, super proud of you. Teachers, don't forget, Mr. Luciati, super proud of you. I hope you all have a great day, whatever day it is, and we are in it together because don't forget, together we are Patty Strong.